This video on macronutrients is the second video in a series I'm doing all about nutrients and nutrient deficiencies. So make sure you subscribe to check out the next video, which is on nutrient deficiencies, and download the guide uh, either here at homogrowthhydroponics.com or in the description box, I'll put a link for you. The guide is totally free and it goes over everything I'm talking about in these videos. So let's get right into NPK, your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your potassium. This whole series is about your macronutrients in particular. Uh, and the last video I did was all about calcium and magnesium. This video is gonna be all about nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So let's take a look at why these three are really important, how we can measure them, how we can determine when we need them at the different stages in growth and exactly what they do and how they benefit our plant. So first let's look at NPK. The abbreviation NPK represents these numbers on the front of any nutrient solution. And this represents the percentage by volume of each of those elements. And if you look at that, that actually tells you a lot, which will get me into the next section about when we need each one of these particular nutrients throughout our plant's growth. So the role of nitrogen in our plant is uh, primarily for chlorophyll development. And chlorophyll is the primary pigment in the leaf that absorbs sunlight and charges photosynthesis. Without chlorophyll, your plant can't grow, it can't photosynthesize. Nitrogen helps to fuel and is one of the primary building blocks in chlorophyll. So if you have a nitrogen deficiency, you're gonna to start to notice that with the yellowing of a leaf, which we'll get a lot more into in the next video. Now I wanna talk about when that's really important to have. So obviously chlorophyll is the most important thing for the vegetative stage, because this is when we're growing the most leaves. We wanna have the most solar panels, so to speak, and chlorophyll is really the charger for the solar panels. So nitrogen is definitely the most important thing during vegetative growth. However, when we get to flowering and when you get to the fruiting stage, you really don't wanna cut back on nitrogen. You actually wanna to try to keep it level almost the entire time. I do a slight boost of nitrogen in the beginning, but then you really just keep it level throughout the entire growth. And your micronutrients are typically uh, what are going to actually keep the nitrogen regulated throughout the entire time. The nitrogen that you're gonna find in your grow and in your bloom formula are gonna be much lower than what you're gonna find in your micronutrients. Okay, now I can't really talk about P, phosphorus, without talking about cellular respiration. Now we've talked a little bit more about cellular respiration in other videos as I'm trying to paint a big picture of photosynthesis and what we need to really take care of as indoor gardeners. Um, but the thing we really need to focus on today about cellular respiration is that using phosphorus creates something called ATPs. And ATPs are the energy currency for our plant. ATPs are critical and crucial for the development of your plant, and phosphorus is directly linked to the production of ATPs. So not only does phosphorus assist in the upper development with your fruit and your vegetables within the energy production, but it also helps to create strong, hardy root systems. That's really where phosphorus stands out. So when do we need phosphorus? Well, you do need phosphorus for the entire time because of that ATP production. You're gonna want as much photosynthetic activity as you can possibly have, and phosphorus helps with that a lot. However, when you get to the fruiting stage is when you're going to need a ton of it. Whenever your plant actually starts creating the fruit, uh, you're going to notice that it's going to lean a lot more towards a, a need for phosphorus then. And now for K, or potassium. Well, potassium is the plant superstar. It's the micromanager, if I may, of your plant. See, it actually directly assists in the opening and closing of the stomata which is on the very bottom of your leaf. And that's where your plant is gonna absorb carbon dioxide and it's gonna release water and oxygen. The more that happens, the more photosynthesis can actually take place within the plant and allow the plant to grow bigger. When you team that with phosphorus and the benefit you're getting with your cellular respiration, now you have potassium helping with transpiration and the opening and closing of the stomata. So what potassium does is it actually supports a lot of these different enzymatic functions that tell the plant to do different things. Things. Kind of like the traffic warden of your plant, just allowing different things to flow through and making sure that everything is running smoothly. It assists in osmosis or the flow of water from the roots all the way out through the leaves. And subsequently then it also helps with the regulation of nutrients, getting the nutrients to where they need to go. It, it really is kind of the micromanager of your plant. So when do you need potassium? Well, you do need potassium the entire time. That's why it's a macronutrient. You need it all the time and your plant needs it to survive, period. I elaborate a bit more in the guide and actually if you wanna know about all the different nutrient deficiencies, macro and micro with pictures and all the detailed information you're gonna ever need, uh, check out the Hydro Gardener's Handbook at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. 
Everything that I make from selling the Hydro Gardener's Handbook goes directly into the production of these videos. So thank you so much to everyone who has purchased uh, one of my books over at HumbleGrowthHydroponics.com and everyone who's downloaded the free stuff. I hope you've gotten tremendous value from all of those guides and I hope you continue to get tremendous value from all of my free content that I'll continue to release for you. So let me know in the comments below if this has been helpful and let's grow together. Thank you.